John Nordell here. I'm an artist, educator, and photojournalist, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the artistic process. A big part of it for me is filling my creative well with imagery. I went to a lunchtime talk about a week before the Obama-Romney election at the Mount Holyoke College Museum of Art. Ellen Alvord was talking about African-American artists in the Experimental Printmaking Institute. Faith Ringgold had work there, as well as Melvin Edwards, who created this stunning piece by cutting a quarter inch thick plate of aluminum with a laser. It's called Untitled from the Legacy Series. As always, I had in my sketchbook with me to jot down notes. I always draw collage in there, and I left inspired to work with aluminum. I began cutting this piece with a mat knife, and it was really difficult to get the exact shapes that I wanted. And I flip-flopped between wanting the precision of the laser that Edward, Edwards had with just using the tools I had and experimenting and trying. I realized that I could use a punch to punch out stars because I was working on the flag theme inspired by Faith Ringhold's work with flags and it didn't print very well. So I just drew a star. But I thought, why don't I pry these stars out and maybe I can attach those stars directly to the work. So I revisited the idea that plate can work both to print with and to stencil with. My first try, the ink was a little thin, but I think it shows nicely my cut lines. As I mentioned, it was hard to print those little stars in there. So as I said, I gave up on that idea. And I experimenting with, with rolling ink to make the stripes on the flag. It turned out that painting those in as a stencil was better, although that leftover ink was fun to play with in my sketchbook. You know, I had made six initial um, prints. Edwards had four out of 13, and I was really running out of those initial prints because here the stenciling didn't look good. So it was only on my final try, I was having fun, I was experimenting, that it worked out. Now I attach the stars using sap. Because one thing I learned from my professor, sculptor Sally Moore, when I was working on my Master's of Education in Arts Education, is the importance of making that distinction between art and craft. Craft, you'd use Elmer's glue to stick the stars on there. For me, art is collecting sap to use for that purpose. And this grid right here? Well, this evolved from a discussion I had with middle school teacher Chris Sanborn as he described how he was teaching his students about the artist Mondrian. 